Hello friends. So while I was out on my usual Sunday thrift store tour, I came across this taped up bag of loose GameCube and PlayStation games. And this whole lot was going for $6.99. And there was absolutely no way I was passing up this opportunity. I'm aware that there's a high chance that these games are going to be scratched up and they might all be sports games except for what we see on the front. But I was willing to roll those dice. While I go through this lot, I will place the most recent sale via price charting of these loose discs right here in the corner. So let's go! So starting off the whole lot, we have Medal of Honor Rising Sun on the GameCube, and uh, it's not too bad on the back here. Most recent sell of this game loose was $9. There we go. We've already made more than the initial purchase. Up next, we have Bionicle, and it is in terrible, terrible condition. I mean, the front and the back are scratched to holy heck. Maybe I'll get $3 if I clean it up and throw it on the market. All right, now we have Spider-Man, the first Spider-Man game on GameCube. Uh, this also is in okay condition, not the best, but the last sale of this was $9 loose. Okay, here we go. Geist. Never heard of this game. Um, actually decent. Uh, not too bad. Just a couple, couple scratches. And I was happy to find out that this game goes for $21 loose. Wow. Here we go. Look at this. Def Jam Vendetta. Are you kidding me? And it's in decent shape. Ah, I love this. Always wanted this game on the GameCube. And it was in this pile. And that's going for $24 loose. And here we have Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I already own a copy of this box, but uh, nice to just have another one, I guess. That's going for nine bucks loose. And check this out, Tales of Symphonia. Sympho Symphonia? Well, anyways, I've got both discs came in this lot. And that's going for about 20 bucks loose. So, wow, so far so good. Now it's time to crack open these PlayStation discs. And I've come to find that there are both PlayStation 1 and PlayStation 2 in here. And obviously we have Final Fantasy IX to begin with, and oh my gosh. Oh, uh, I expect these to not look that great. But especially this, look at the Shadow Man right here. I mean, I can't even sell that, so that's not even gonna go. We got more Final Fantasies in here. We got Final Fantasy VIII, um, but it's missing a disc, so I'm not going to include that as something I can sell. But yeah, we got almost all Final Fantasy VIII in here. Uh, Duke Nukem, Time to Kill. Scratched up, gonna need resurfacing. Uh, there we go, more Final Fantasy, this is nine. All the discs for nine were here, so that's good. But I will need to resurface them. Look at this, Disgaea, Hour of Darkness. I love this game. If you love tactical RPGs, this is the game to get. A little scuffed up, definitely gonna need a resurfacing, but I'm gonna put that one out there on the market or keep it for myself, actually. Oh. Here we go. Sea Monsters, a prehistoric adventure from National Geographic Games. It's like in the best shape of everything and it's only like $5. And of course, Oddworld, Abe's Exodus, but it's only the first disc. So I'm not sure what to do there. Rather than just keep it and hope to find a second disc. And there you go. There's all the games in this $6.99 lot I got from St. Vincent de Paul locally. At the end, I added up everything I took away the price I paid, plus probably the resurfacing fees for most of these. And I didn't include the games that are just too far gone to even consider selling. And my profit is looking at about $100. So there you go. Seven bucks into a hundred. Obviously, if I were to sell every one of them and, you know, I'm not factoring in the labor of setting up the, the listings and what have you. But I mean, this is a come up. Always keep your eyes out there because there are deals everywhere. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe. I'm your boy B Ross, have a super garbage day.